Live from 6 News Studios with live local breaking news where you live and your hour-by-hour -hour forecast. This is 6 News, live at midday. Good day. Hip replacement surgery is a common procedure, but a new approach is changing the experience for patients. That's for the better, too. We'll have details coming up next. First, as we go to the breaks. When it comes to injuries that'll leave you laid up for a while, hip replacement is near the top of the list. But a different method for that surgery is providing some very successful uh, uh, results. It's called the direct anterior approach. Dr. Ajoy Jana is here. He is an orthopedic surgeon, and he has details on it. Thank you so much for coming in. Thanks, Jim. Thanks for having me here. Let's talk a little bit about the procedures that most of us commonly associate with hip replacement. We always think of, oh, it's elderly people that have fallen down and they've hurt themselves. Is that necessarily the case? You know, it's interesting. The statistics show right now about one out of every three patients that has an arthritic hip is less than 65 years old. So it, we're seeing it much more in younger patients, possibly due to the increased activity level of the baby boomers, um, maybe partially related to the the uh, increased weight that a lot of people in America sure. you know, have, it, it causes wear and tear on the knee joints and the hip joints. All right, so a lot of folks are, are accustomed to what is a traditional posterior or lateral approach. You're taking a different approach. First of all, why are you taking the approach and what's different about it? Well, that's right. So around the country, the anterior approach or the direct anterior approach is only used about 2% of the time. So it really is something relatively new. It's catching on and there's pockets around the country where it's really catching on quickly. Uh, the benefits of the approach are that the entire procedure can be done actually without cutting any muscle around the hip joint. And that's where all the recovery takes so much time, right? Right. So that's a big part of it. Now, I, what I tell the patients who come to me in the office and, and want to know about this or they've read about it even before they come to see me is, please don't consider this a minimally invasive approach. I think that's a marketing term that maybe is overused and a little bit misleading. Yeah. But you know maybe it's less invasive is a good term or tissue sparing in that by 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 doing the surgery this way there are several advantages that that i've seen and have been reported is recovery time one of those advantages that's right so you know my patients one of the biggest advantages i see is the intrinsic stability of the hip which is to say after most traditional hip replacements patients are told to uh, not bend over at the waist, not, uh, you know, they need to sleep with a pillow between their legs, have special equipment at home for at least six weeks while those muscles are healing that have been cut and then surgically repaired afterwards. With this approach, because you haven't cut any of the muscle, yeah. um, I can allow my patients to have unrestricted movement right from the start. So they don't need any special equipment and they don't have any restrictions. How many have you done? Um, about 200 right now. I've, I started about three years ago. And um, I've got one scheduled for about 10 minutes from now. <laughs> well, great to have you, and I don't want to keep you from it. Good luck in the operating room. Bet. Make sure you scrub in, huh? Thanks so much for having me. <laughs> My pleasure. Great to have you, Dr. Jan. Appreciate it. Still to come, final check on Rusty's fork.